Okay, I had to make this short video because I want to show for the guys who got micron gauges, whether they're independent or they're inside, say, the field piece manifold. When you're going through rubber hoses and you turn off the system and you're reading a micron gauge inside a refrigerant manifold, your rubber hoses will greatly affect how the rise of your um, micron meter reading is. So in this case, here's a brand new tank. I just took these tanks, they were just delivered, and I just put them on the vacuum pump, and they've been on the vacuum pump for about five minutes now. And as you can see, it's down to 181 microns. And as you can see the valve right here, where I have it open, I have the valve open right, you can see this valve right here, that's the open valve right there. Now you're gonna see me close the valve and watch how, look how low it is within five minutes, but watch this. I'm gonna shut off the source of the vacuum. Okay, the vacuum is shut. You see a, a micron rise. Look how low it is, look how small it is compared to when you have your gauges on a car that has been dirty, exposed to the atmosphere, the refrigerant oil is exposed to moisture, so it gives off a lot of moisture, and you see a rise all the way up to 700, 1,000, 2,000 microns. That's because you're not in a clean, dry system, and that's because you're using refrigerant hoses. If you are trying to do a vacuum decay test using refrigerant hoses, you'll always get a number that goes up to at least usually 400, 700, 900 microns, and it's because of your hoses not because of the gauge, not because of the sensor. It's your hoses is your worst enemy if you're trying to do a micron vacuum decay test. And as you see here, this is made out of metal. It's not a piece of hose. Everything here is metal and this is clean and dry. So you could get numbers like this that are this low and after you turn off the vacuum, they stay that low and you have a large volume. So let me uh, open this back up. I'm getting these new tanks prepared. This is gonna be for 134, and this one's gonna be for R1234YF, brand new tanks. So I have to clean and dry them out and prepare them to take in recovered refrigerant So for recycling. All right, that's it.